Okay, in this video, which is step two of getting a smart card to work, the PIV key C910, we're going to enroll or basically put login credentials onto a smart card. So I have my smart card reader connected and I'm going to plug in my smart card. And now I need to put the credentials on it. So the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is hold down the Windows key and press R. I'll get run and I'm gonna type in mmc.exe. I'm going to click on OK and that's going to open um, the management console. I'm going to go to File and Add Remove Snap In. I'm going to click on Certificates. I'm going to click on Add and I'm going to use my user account and I'm going to click on Finish. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on OK and now I have certificates. I'm going to open the certificates I'm going to click on personal, I'm going to right click, I'm going to say all tasks, and I'm going to be request new certificate. Click on request new certificate. I'm going to click on next, I'm going to click on next again, and then the name of the certificate template that I created, I'm going to select that. This has to be installed on the server and configured, and I'm going to click on enroll going to ask me for the pin of my smart card and then I'm going to click on OK and it's going to basically talk to the server and create a certificate that will be used for logging in onto my smart card. That says that it succeeded. If I want to click on the details I can. I can even view the certificate and we'll see here the dates that it's valid for. So it'll be valid from the date that you do it for whatever length of time the default period is. In this case, it's one year. So after one year, I'm going to have to re-enroll the smart card or redo a certificate um, to make it work again. Just like a credit card, it will expire. And then I'm gonna click Finish. And that's all there is to it. At this point now, when I'm going to log in, I will be able to use the smart card to log in instead of my password. 